Look at the headlines from this week. Intel will launch 28 core 5 gigahertz CPU by the end of the year. Intel's 28 core 5 gigahertz CPU coming in quarter four. Shut up and take my money, Intel. It's all bullshit. Before that, this video is brought to you by Thermaltake's View 37 case. The View 37 focuses on highlighting custom PC builds with its full panoramic window and tinted front acrylic. In our thermal testing, the View 37 performed reasonably well when considering its looks focused build, which is partly thanks to the airflow design and the removal of a bottom power supply shroud. For a balance of looks and performance, check the link in the description below for the View 37. Expectations are impossibly high for this 28-core CPU. Literally impossible, by the way, because there's no way that thing does 5 GHz. If you look at the photos of the Dominus motherboard and look closely at the socket screw locations, it's clear that Intel was running a socket P motherboard with an LGA 3647 pinout. That's the same as the Xeon motherboards, and it's clear that Intel has taken an existing Xeon-grade processor and repositioned it as a desktop part. This 28-core CPU isn't new, and in fact, it's probably, almost certainly, an Intel 8176 Platinum or an 8180, probably the 8176. The 8176 is a Skylake X part. Intel was severely misleading in its technical demonstration of a 5 gigahertz overclock. There's a fake, I don't know why I did that. And it's a 28-core CPU. They said it does 5 gigahertz. Notice something? They didn't disclose the cooling solution. That's because of Chiller. It was a Chiller behind the scenes, and the Chiller had the CPU at subambient, negative 10 degrees Celsius, to achieve 5 gigahertz. It's not some new next generation architecture. In fact, what they were overclocking was a Skylake X CPU with 28 cores, and guess what? Existing Skylake X CPUs, like the 7980XE with 18 cores, don't really do 5 gigahertz that easily especially not on ambient cooling. So this was severely misleading. To have a chiller behind the scenes, pushing five gigahertz, no disclosure of cooling whatsoever, and suddenly you've got every press website in the world saying Intel's next gen 28 core CPU does five gigahertz. No, it doesn't. It's 2.7 gigahertz base, and boost, we'd be shocked if it's more than four gigahertz stock. You might be able to overclock to 4 gigahertz, maybe a bit beyond. But let's look at the existing data. With a 7980XE doing 4.6, 4.7 gigahertz, that's pretty common without a D-lid, without liquid metal, without exotic cooling. What Intel's presenting is none of those things. They have not presented anything resembling reality with a 28 core. In reality, it's a severely overclocked via subambient chiller cooling solution that is just not going to realize in any meaningful way that you can use and all the headlines are misleading you. That is the result of Intel's press event. Let's look at a 7980XE. 18 cores overclocked to, let's say 4.9 gigahertz. We did it with a D-lid, with liquid metal, with exotic sort of cooling, and it was drawing more than 600 watts. What do you think a 28 core is gonna do? It's got 10 more cores and it, the only difference between the 28 core desktop part and the 28 core Xeon part is the Xeon part has ECC memory and the desktop part, some reason, doesn't. So at $9,000 for the Xeon part, you're probably looking at it closer to $3,000 for the desktop part. Intel is once again cannibalizing their own product line and their own user base to go down to a desktop part out of panic to compete with AMD's Threadripper 2. This is clearly a last minute change in response to Threadripper 2. In evidence of being a last minute change, Intel even pulled demonstrations of overclocking this 28 core CPU from the show floor at Computex. What better place to show it than there? And they pulled the demos. What does that tell you? It's all last minute scrambled change, panicked in response to Threadripper 2, and there's absolutely no way they can cool this thing at five gigahertz even lower frequencies would be extremely difficult for a consumer to cool. This is all very clearly a last minute thing, and it's not even a CPU that can operate within reason at the headlines of five gigahertz that have been posted everywhere. The headlines are factually inaccurate if they say it's a five gigahertz, 28 core CPU. In what world can Skylake X do five gigahertz 
with 28 cores without LN2 or a chiller, which is what they used. So it's very misleading, and the fact that all the headlines have taken this and run with it as if it's a 5 gigahertz stock CPU is laughable. Because it's like you don't even think about for a second what you're saying. So this thing, chiller, below negative 10 degrees Celsius for ambient temperature. The CPU itself with overclocking, probably still in the 50s or something like that. It's Skylink X after all. And as far as the rest, it's basically a giant e -peen contest between AMD and Intel, who just keep doing, we have more cores than the other guy, we have more frequency than the other one, or we added 100 digits to our chipset name so that the number is bigger. And then in the case of AMD, also we canceled the chipset because I guess the idea was Intel caught on to the game, started doing the same thing, and now the game's not fun anymore. But the Intel... Core i whatever 28 core CPU, which is a clearly Xeon part that has been taken from the workstation or Xeon group and branded as a desktop part, just seems like it's completely a response to Threadripper 2 trying to steal the thunder for Computex, and somehow they even failed at that because Threadripper 2 was announced in the middle of the show, which seems like a total misplay by AMD, except for the fact that the 28 core was shown before Threadripper 2. So, in a world where launching a product, a high-end one, in the middle of a trade show makes absolutely no sense, it's somehow come together for this one, and at the end of the day, we're left with a scenario where Intel is just misleading everybody with their product. And we don't even know if it'll be a real product, but it's certainly, in its present form, Skylake X, and that's not a new thing. And the higher core count isn't all that impressive if it can't reach anywhere close to the advertised frequencies that they showed in the demo, even with overclocking. It's all very misleading, and that's pretty disappointing. So, Intel, you get the worst of show award. Thank you very much for participating. Your efforts were admirable, and you do take home the prize. We'll see you all next time. Subscribe for more as always. Go to patreon.com slash gamersnexus helps out directly because we'll probably need it after this video. I did hit my head a few times after all. Go to store.gamersnexus.net to pick up a mod match and check back for more Comitex coverage. See you later.